Hello, boys and girls. Hello, Hi, all. guys. In another day, Jola has copied oh, me for here making shots. Mm. Um, Give shots. We have guests today. Hi, <laughs> you guys. Jola. Hello. Hi, Hello. guys. Hi. introduce yourselves. Um, uh, ladies first. Mama, let them know that we <laughs> now. Come on. Okay, I'm Jadi Oshiberu. I'm a writer, director, and producer. Uh, my name is Toby Bakre. Jadi is number one actor. Bro, he was the name. Look, <laughs> I'm not in your mood. This. Uh, Why are you wearing the same trousers as me? Let's because address. somebody sent us the trousers. Just one why of did our you favorite pick the people. one I no, picked? He told me on the phone. He said. I know your favorite color is pink, so I know what I'm going to say. This, this is pink and blue. The other ones see. don't have pink in them, do they? No. So why exactly? So why do you carry my trousers? So I so 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 yeah. mean, no, I'm not watching like it's any sense. No, this is a weekly thing. Don't worry. Because I know it. that this is her plan all the time. <laughs> I <laughs> just want to be matching, matching. You guys should just share a wardrobe. Like honestly, do you, know the funny, do you know the funny thing? This thief. When she's going out, she'll just show up. She's okay, like, that's <laughs> quite different. Oh, because oh. where are you going? <laughs> when you are not going out, so all the clothes they should wear. You don't know, go out. To be fair, no, this looks like the most social of the I story. go out, but for can me has decided that I have too many clothes, so why should she, she buy does. them? <laughs> Imagine me as in going out when I can shop inside somebody's, wow, house. Lovely. Inside somebody's house. Lovely. And the thing is, if I wear she wears, people will just think we have the same clothes. Voila! So it everybody works. actually wins. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, anyway, mm-hmm. what did you guys get up to this weekend? Yes. I remember. Uh, mine was, yeah, boxing. And then we had the uh, dinner. Oh, we did. Yeah, have yeah, dinner. we had dinner, boxing, dinner. Yeah, yeah. we were then, doing uh pickup shoots for a film called Sugar Rush, which we have a sequel with. Mm. So our oh, cast, yay! Our cast is around from South Africa, and so we took everybody out to dinner. Just nice. to you were last to take me to dinner. Okay, See, we what don't have. Ha- oh, Jesus Christ! We don't <laughs> have to get. Actually, we went to dinner together like the other day, but when we met up with different people when we got there. Okay, yes. So that true. counts. We were in the same we restaurant. We're in the same restaurant. Wow. No, like we went to the restaurant together and then we went to sit with other different, different, different people. people. I could I see you. So that counts as dinner. All of us were there. <laughs> We're That's all there together. That's yeah. it. It's very lovely. Like, you guys are married already, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like what my, my parents were doing. What did I do this weekend? Yeah. What did I do this weekend? What was Friday? I don't recall. I don't recall what happened on Friday. What did I do on Friday? on Friday? No, I didn't do anything on Friday. Mm-hmm. Saturday, I went and then I did, like, my friend is having a, an exhibition and she wanted to do some, she's doing, like, a, an exhibition about different hairstyles, beauty, mm-hmm. all of these things. Anyway, for some reason, I was chosen as a hair model. So okay. they were doing my hair and taking pictures of my head. Mm-hmm. That was what I did on Saturday. And then we went to FemFest. Yes, that was a lot of we fun. We went to FemFest after... But there are a lot of men there. Huh? What it's like there? a really it was big... A... Um, almost like... To explain to my parents, I'll say women's convention. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Um, so it was... It has... It's by Fem Africa. And they're like a digital magazine that focuses oh, on women. Right. And there was like a beauty... There was, this, there was like a fair. There were panels. Um, what was this in Lagos? Yeah, yeah, it was oh, in Harbour Point. Did you go for any panel you wore? Do you know, I stood there. <laughs> but I realized that they were not really talking to me. So the panel I, I caught was the one with Lady Donnelly. Oh. Um, oh, what's her name? AG's former manager. But, um, um, Sure, Elizabeth. No, no, no. Elizabeth is his current manager. Bimini. Bimini. Oh, and then around. somebody else was talking about like women who are trying to get into music distribution and mm. stuff like that. Mm. Then I missed Kike Zun. Kike is a lawyer. Yes. And I anyway, lawyer. I got there at about 10 p.m. Yes. So I got there for the party. Yeah, yeah, so there was also like a concert party. Which is name. also a learning experience anyway. <laughs> learning, look at it. learning. Yes, no. We're learning the music culture. <laughs> <laughs> was it just female yeah. performance? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> there were new, no, no, there were new, new artists. artists and then you guys, people are wearing DJs, different things. I was DJs. observing a lot of people things. People were wearing different things. So yes. did I think to see. I was <laughs> wearing And then female, um, <laughs> all the vendors were. Yeah, I oh, was observing it. Very cool. It was things. very, very cool. Actually, a lot of fun. Yes. Anyway, and then we went, we dragged ourselves out after. And this is where my specialty is because Jala likes to go home. <laughs> <laughs> like when we go out right. Jola likes to go home so I had to, we had to tell my driver to leave so I could enter Jola's car so she could drop Jola I'm disappointed you just seem like the more like fun just the last wild. time me and Jola went to a car she brought her Kindle 
I'm sorry, that was so I wasn't expecting that. No, so wait, let me ask you one question. You play Candy Crush too when you're in the club? No, no I've okay. given up on Candy Crush. I no, would yeah. Is yeah. that not worse? <laughs> it's worse, yeah. Candy Crush is still for people. Candy Crush is still better. Okay. 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 When we got to the club, wasn't it a good idea that I had my kids? Okay, let me know. Like, exactly. That day was exactly. It was a terrible, it was a terrible night. It was a terrible night. The DJ was wild. Why not just go home? Like, why start to read? See the person I came with. Why would you be reading? That's the unfortunate thing. I came with a nice rocker. <laughs> now, Fake Hammer will be like, Fake Hammer always believes the nice can be. Um, it can not improve. She'll be like, no, no, no. She'll be like, just chill. Maybe when we start drinking, drink to 46 tomorrow, this thing is will crash. Hot crash. That was it, really bad. Plus, I actually like going to people's parties because I feel like people curate. Mm, people yeah, want everybody to have a good time yeah. so they do better. Particularly Yoruba people. Right. We just feel, the worst thing that you can tell a Yoruba person is that they're not enjoying the party. So they go out of their way. Right. These days, Lagos clubs, they don't care. No, they <laughs> they don't, don't care if you're having a good time. They don't care if you're having a work it's time. Not. But yeah, that's yeah, what, what did you do on Sunday? What did I do? So first of all, you left on Saturday at about 1.00. I was out till maybe 4.30 or 5. So half of Sunday was already a questionable. I'm <laughs> messing me. You were not in church. I said, ma. <laughs> I said, ma. I thought I saw yesterday. I'm not even sure that. <laughs> I'm not even sure that that's wow. the right environment. So no, what, I, what else did I do on Sunday? I think I went for dinner or something. Mm, okay. I went I'm not to sure. Obida has a new... Exhibition. Like, exhibition. Oh, so that's that my cousin. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. I need to go. Yeah, yeah. Go so Abba is upstairs. Oh. Alimi has some stuff upstairs and then there's a, I forgot his name but it was nice it was a fun weekend and we went out that was fun and we went um, out and some people were sleeping in the club someone ran away refused to go to the to the club Chi, right? you <laughs> so you guys have the same <laughs> no I wouldn't even go like that's why I was asking why, why bother like I, I no, wouldn't we went to and then she left yeah, mm-hmm. when we were going she said RSVP as if we got to RSVP at uh, 11 something why so ch- yeah, yeah. so why are you asking yeah, that's when we were giving to go yeah. at yeah. 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 the club at like 1.30 mm. and then guess what they tried to get they, they, they tried to get us at the club I said ah. Gates, I said in Lagos they said why not we're wearing slippers and why not but I told you no so the thing is me I wa- you know I watched this happen so they went to the, they were saying they get to the, blah, blah, blah. I just I just got there I said sorry let me call let me call I don't want to say Boss madam. I'm called the manager. And I said, oh, and I didn't know. I said, call. And I went to okay, I see somebody that went to school. <laughs> My friend, open this door. <laughs> open the door. Let, I said, FK, you've come back. I said, open this door. I said, so you why? 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 Into the club? No, it was not. We didn't plan to go clubbing. <laughs> but then now we're here. <laughs> but as well. Yes. Oh, so no, we want to go home and carry heels. No whoa, way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Was very, all those things are bizarre. Like one club, I will always disgrace we've never, them. We've never been I doing that. I will always disgrace them. Excuse me, your club is on top of Chiki Republic. Are you telling me? Ah, I this is our Yes, yes, yes. So today, you know, I'm very shocked at this, at this gross attempt at being who you, you are not. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, they really cool. To be fair, no, they, they can't get up. Because because they, 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 they were saying, "Oh, the, the dress code." Said, I said, first of all, you should be pleased." <laughs> the boss <laughs> <here, the laughs> had just said, "Ma, this is his establishment." I whoa, said, whoa, 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 whoa! I said, "Uncle, what's the name of this place that is downstairs?" <laughs> and he said, "He actually started laughing because, <laughs> because he, was, he was like, he was like." Do you know what, madam? Just be going. I don't, I don't know. I don't remember a time until now where Lagos started doing this dress code thing. I'm like, it's hot. Do you get? And sometimes no, I'm just. Code. You yeah. must come. Ah, with, with him. Ah, they started doing that so. And I'm just like, okay, but all of us have been here since before now. <laughs> Maybe it's the Yahoo Plus uh, crowd. Get, like, what's going on? And I guess you have one of those in the RV. Let's go to W bar. Yeah. That's his place. Those are guys. That's what he's saying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Get yeah, invited to my table. Wow. Anytime. Anytime. Fake him is very pleased. I'm standing table <laughs> at W Bar. This is one of my great achievements. Are you around with Mr. Table? And I'm around KJ's table. I'm okay, next to well, KJ's table. Okay, well, uh, uh, you're with Mr. Table. Yeah, wow. I'm not friends. I will not say. Well done. Well done. Okay, let's do um the agony and stuff. They wrote him like eight times, by the way. Says, hi guys, I think I'm jealous of my husband. Oh wow. Ah, mm-hmm. I like We've been time. married for a few years now and he gets it easy with almost everything. Meanwhile, guys, I struggle for every single thing. Mm. When we make applications together, he gets accepted. I get turned down no matter how good mine is. Even visas we apply for together, they must bounce me. Ah. But give him the visa. Business <laughs> goes easy funny. for him. Meanwhile, nothing I touch seems to work. And I mean, they pray and go church pass. So <laughs> powers from my father's house seem to be working over time. <laughs> but jokes aside, I really don't like feeling this way. How do I stop this? And how can I bring it up without sounding like a witch? Abi, am I a witch? 
Oh, yeah. I mean, oh. on, like, first of all, I think she needs to have a bit. First, therapy is good, anyways, because yeah. that seems like something she needs to talk to somebody like more often about. But then, even being in the headspace where you can kind of be in competition with your husband is already a bad place to be, in my opinion. I feel like, like, except like, okay, issues like visa applications, if they bounce me. I don't know what the husband is doing because yeah. your husband also needs to like bring her along. Like, okay, don't know. Let's find a solution yeah. and all that. Mm-hmm. But she also, she, like, you're playing on the same team. So if he got the deal, ah, it was money. Yeah, but you know, you're very mature. You're very mature. You're very mature. You're very mature. You are very mature. Imagine your husband every year is getting promotion. See, you, you know when <laughs> little things start, little things start to bite mm-hmm. at you. Where, okay, one, it happens once. It's not a big deal. So maybe you, you get the visa. I don't get the visa. It's not a big deal. Next thing you got in your business. But then it's is also going, background. Like who knows the husband and wife's background? Yeah. His travel experiences before they got married or oh, you know, all of those things. Yeah, yeah. Married, like, no. I they're think married. so, first of all, I feel like you need to normalize her feelings. Envy is a natural yeah, human. It's, it's, it's 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 honestly, it's normal. See, it's what you do after. What makes you a witch is what you do next. I'm so yeah. are you going to poison your husband? Yeah. 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 You're a witch, darling. <laughs> are you going to the night before his application go and change what you want? Yeah. 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 But are you have those feelings? I think honestly, it's very natural. It's very natural. People that you like much. the most, you can be jealous Tommy, of you've them. you've had things go well. Maybe that's why. If imagine if you've been working hard and toiling. I know a lot of people like that. You've been toiling, and even actors. Yeah. Why are so many actors jealous of you? For instance, you've been toiling. Like you just came, big brother. Even your guys, even your guys. I didn't person that you know that applied to big brother. So sorry. So in my own life, personally, now like it's not. Of course, thank God things are going decent. But like I have people and peers that. Okay, uh, no, but I have people and peers that you know. Some of my peers, they have business. Have you never felt envy? I, I have not. I have okay. not. Like I genuinely, I'm just happy for them because in my head, I'm more like because you whenever two are we're successful. together. That's what I'm saying. I'm telling you. It's so imagine, you're if, successful. imagine if, like, oh, no, they're all they're level of I, I won't mind I that. I know now, but, but if you know, were agree on the ground, so the thing is, their level really. of success might be higher, but you are, yeah, yeah, doing, yeah, doing well yeah, for yourself. Like things are moving. Imagine if everything was just casting. First of all, you would not even be here. Imagine you don't go out so far. <laughs> That's number one. You don't even be here. Yeah, yeah, you'll yeah, be yeah, watching yeah, this yeah, 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 as yeah, your yeah, colleague. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. He's already around then. What's he doing next? Imagine yeah. if, okay, for okay. guys of Lagos, you, your audition, you and your guy, two of you went to audition, then him is sitting here, you are watching interview online. Me like you think film, you're doing you think film. Maybe you say, Do you know what I mean? Oh, it's funny, your TikTok career is now having to blossom. Because you don't have what you're doing. Well, well, in that context, yeah, it's open. But it doesn't mean that you do anything about it. But having those feelings, it might come, but it's not what you do. One thing. It's not just, so that's what she's saying. It's not just not just career. career. It's literally, they do business things. Like, maybe just, it feels, sometimes it feels like, so let me give you an example. With my, I remember one time, my youngest brother, like, had to explain to me and the brother in between that he really doesn't like being at our school because he was he's he's younger. Everybody would just say, Oh, why aren't you like Jola? Mm-hmm. Oh, why aren't you like mm-hmm. Bolu? And he was just like, because I'm And you almost not, don't have an identity because right? it's like so yeah. like the my middle brother is very affable, he's very friendly, he's very likable. Mm. People just tend to gravitate towards him. And I was like an overachiever when I was in yeah. school. And my brother found a hard time in school one. He has ADHD and two. He's a bit of a loner. So mm. he's not like super friendly. Mm. Yeah, the last born isn't. And so on both sides, people will be like, ah, yes, wasn't your sister a prefect? In fact, she wasn't. And he's just like, I'm neither of the, like I'm really having a hard time just getting through classes. Can you guys leave me alone? And then people will say, get on him about not being as friend, not being as social. You can imagine how irritating yeah. that yeah. is just all yeah. around. So yeah. if, you, you're happy, she's, I'm sure she's happy for her husband. He's a great guy. She's chopping his money. She'll be his business is doing. She's eating his money. But it will still be hard if in your yeah, own career. Yeah, and I also yeah. think it might be the way he's handling it. So, for yeah. instance, like you said earlier, if we're both applying for a visa, it's very rare that one, <laughs> one is. person it's in the couple is somehow. declined and then the other person is... Maybe they are not applying. So maybe it's not helping as much. Uh, yeah, I feel like there needs to be maybe some long. support. Because I, personally, even in my own life, I, like I do, like whenever there's a win... Intentionally, I even make it. I make sure it feels like everybody yeah, is winning because just, yeah, sometimes yeah. like my yeah. car, our careers are different. So mm-hmm. this my win is my. But no, I need to make sure yeah. it is everybody's mm-hmm. win. I, honestly, I think it's completely. So the, the challenge people have is is they feel bad for feeling it. Mm-hmm. Whereas I don't actually think that's the issue. It's just like what you're saying. It so won't make her like a witch if she's now harboring spite uh, for this decision when you just pass to look at his ah, stupid. Because if you feel like that, you 
don't has, have God in your heart, it's, it's which in is your the next step, which is the next step. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Even if you don't do anything, your heart might start to be mm. that Somehow, person. let me know that. Just, just yeah. Maybe the person does something silly and then it's being dragged online. Yeah, yeah. you're happy, you're like, happy. Look, <laughs> this is everything that is winning at what, <laughs> One of the things my, my mom taught me very early that actually helped with this was the concept of seasons. She's always said that there's a really you're basing about me, like, uh, and it's from the Bible, uh, about knowing, having known what it's like to have and to not have. Uh-huh. And so that when you don't have, you're still at peace and you know that the season of having is coming. Yeah. And so you're not really envious of the other person because you know that it's seasons. Season. It's like, life happens in a way and yeah. you, you will have your own I time. I can't lie. I mean, maybe, maybe people are emotionally advanced. I just feel like seeing somebody succeed at everything in your face it doesn't, it's, it's see, they are doing their own is their life, but it feels like an affront to you because <laughs> it's two of us that are here. Mm-hmm. Like, how many heads can you possibly have this that life. everything you are doing? Ah, that's what she has to ask herself if she's a witch girl because really was the issue. Mm-hmm. So, and, then, you know, and I'm sure he has, he probably doesn't think of it. And so you would, there's a way you can be flippant about mm-hmm, things going mm-hmm, well mm-hmm. in the face of, even among friends, mm-hmm. if somebody is struggling, there's a way that you have a conversation about a win in that same place just so that it does not seem like an aff- not to, to minimize it but so that it does not seem like an affront yeah, I agree. Yeah. because yeah. I'm aware that mm-hmm. you're actually going I feel like the has a lot more to do yeah, yeah I, I think so like, but then she, like will she come yeah will she come that's what she's saying come, how does she bring it even if you don't know it's not to not to realize yes. the impact like you're, mm. you're leaving with something it's a bit talkless so you kind of have to make it look more effort I think she should say to you even for open up about it I'm very sure if he's observant he would have no Notice. But what if he feels? Because you can also feel somehow about this. Elizabeth. Like I, I imagine your wife or you're telling they're jealous or more. I say, I like just like no, ah. she can just say she feels bad. Yeah, you don't you say know, jealous. If the roles were reversed. I feel like a lot of men wouldn't say yeah. and they would just go into no, themselves, they cuddle, become depressed, become low, whatever. Yeah. We've had this exact it's thing. Not we've had, had, we've had the she's dominating my life. She's skinny yeah. because she wants to skin we've my life. We've had opposites of this where like the man stars. is like... <laughs> that's what I'm looking for. Literally, I'm not going to say that's his wife. That's Tami Lulu. It's my... What is your style? My... Kadarami. Kadarami. Tami Lulu. Yeah, 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 yeah. They've said it. No, I can't lie. It's tough, sure. Yeah, she should say But then also, on this thing about being flippant, I remember one time my dad was telling me congratulations about something. And I was like, oh, is that big? He's like, I hope you don't go around saying this. Well, <laughs> like, when something good happens yeah. and you just brush it off because it might make other people feel like, um, is that's what gives people the idea that you're not working for the things you're getting. Mm-hmm. It's a thing where you try to be like falsely modest because you don't want to seem like you are attention holding. So when people say, oh, you're like, oh, that thing, no, no, no. I but other people well. might take it to be that Okay, so what am I doing? She doesn't even care about this yeah. good thing that's happening. So what am I doing? I can't live my life trying to not offend the judge. That's exactly what. But he was saying so that right. you have to be like, like my dad was just like, just say thank you, and fair it's enough. very exciting. Fair, I mean, just enough, don't try. pretend that it's that not. It's not, a, yeah. it's not a big deal. Just be like, oh, thank you. I'm but very I mean, excited. I think like you said earlier, for someone who's a constant achiever, in your ma- first of all, the thing that is just coming out now, you don't the work. Yeah, you don't the work. You don't the salvation has passed. Like you, you're probably ashamed of it. It's like also you probably about the film. Like, I've like you I'm moved gone. on I'm to something else. Yeah. Like, so like, so that's what you might be seeing at the floors. Like there's a project that I've worked on for three years. Now, <laughs> when John calls me and he's like, so the edit um, is shame. I'm just like, I'm like, can we go back and film this? Thing? We can't film it again. Girl. He's like, no, it's nice. It's good. I'm, like, I'm telling you, it's bad. <laughs> but it happens. No, it happens it like happens. that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sis, I think you need to have a, a big girl conversation and you'll be fine. Just ex- like explain that. Look, this is how I'm feeling. And it's not your fault, also, but it's just, mm-hmm. I'm feeling so bad. Is the timing also matter? Like, in, in communicating this, like, <laughs> when you have to want something, you're like, please, yeah. You I, know I when like, he just comes to tell you, oh, I got the problem. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, I just want to be like, I'm with you. you. Yeah, yeah. Like, the timing matter. Let it be like, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I just be like, babe, like, yeah, you know. Ah. Well, you can say, you can start it with that, you need his help. Mm. Uh, yeah, you need his help. You need so you need to make it so that now you also will be a loser. You know, the, <laughs> I, I have to admit something. You know, I keep playing this in the other scenario, like the bad is your husband mm, comes to you. Mm-hmm. And let me not lie to you. All of these things you guys are saying are a recipe to a heated. <laughs> this, because just be thinking, you witch. Why? <laughs> well, if the husband comes to talk to you, no, because a lot of times you hear kind of the, the, the most. Will, will a man be able to even bring him? That's what I'm saying. But the, the most typical situation is a man is acting out maybe because his wife is more yeah. successful than him. Blah blah mm. blah. And usually she's trying to manage the situation. But even you coming, but I, I, like I know a lot of scenarios that I like know personally where if that man had said honestly that 
this is how I'm feeling. Oh, um, my. No, but I would have ever appreciated that conversation. I'm actually. Yeah, I'm yeah. You act like crazy. Not I don't, love, I don't think a lot of people would, would. So I would rather that than the acting out. When, sure. Because yeah. the, the, the acting out can be really, really bad. And and the misinterpretation of everything. Everything, you know, life becomes like eggs. All of like you so can't also, we are, also, also, we are oh, like projecting a lot yeah, of malice into a conversation. Yeah, it might not be. Like, you know, She's writing it. That's why she's saying, I'm feeling jealous. Nobody's going to tell their partner, I'm, I'm jealous. I'm feeling jealous. jealous. Well, actually, they might. Ah, <laughs> you never right. know. Oh, you, you can just say that like you're feeling bad because, because things are not going well things are popping off for me. It's not that I'm not happy things are going up well for me. It's that I just feel some type of way that is like... I'm the moron here. Like, no, I'm walking is, and it's not These clicking. things honestly happen in all scenarios. Like, I, I have had conversations with my friends that I'm just like, oh, my, this money that I'm making, like, could you be the first? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just like, so no. Why don't you? Anyway, you're no, struggling. And the thing is, this is exactly mm. how I say it. I'm like, why don't you yam me? So everyone is laughing, but I'm being serious. Like, why don't you just yam me? What are you doing? doing Maybe the rest of us, we don't know. So if it's something we can do, yes. Maybe the rest of us, we don't even know what's going on. Because, ha, Kilo day, you know, any small thing you've done this, and sometimes that happens. I remember one of my friends, we were literally bridesmaids. I saw her, and she just called me to say, Come, I know that I know that it's you that I can't discuss this thing with. I know, feeling so bad. She said, Come, I said, Sis, what happened? Come, see everybody here. Why do you need to hear? We didn't even bring, didn't even bring any dates. I know, feeling so bad. She said, Come, tell me. Like, let's, 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 let
Yeah. This is really the nice. The gag is there's a generation of people who don't know what the yeah, hell video up is. Like, oh, yeah, you did it. What's that? What's oh, up? Like, what? oh, no. I think that was a very, <laughs> um, oh, dude, very dude, interesting turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they was. definitely go back Because it was also like a Lagos I could, like, we could recognize. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't yeah. like, like when you watch some some older films, you know, like it's a Yoruba film, but I'm just like, that, this, this, life that they live or in the village or that I, I don't recognize it but you see Giddy up I was like see places that I, I yes. go to <laughs> scenarios you understand that's actually yeah, how I know like the scenarios Chicken Republic place because we shot there yeah. 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 I'm, 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 shot I'm the like see places that we yeah. are in mm, yeah. yeah so, so I, I remember thinking that was very cool and then I found out that it was a woman in charge I was like of course yeah. yes. <laughs> oh, nice. we do that <laughs> we, we do, do, do that yeah so that was really cool and that was obviously the beginning of what has been a fantastic it was similar to you I was also my both my parents are engineers was an A student in prize giving day to call the prize in science yeah, class, yeah. tech class, all of that. So it was like when I said filmmaking, they're like, yeah, my mom even said, one of my friends, she likes music, she sings in the church. Come to Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> you have your career. They don't take you too seriously. Yes, right? You have your career. Then you in the church, you will be the play. You will do plays in the church. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, no, I want to be a filmmaker. So the whole of uni, I was just online learning about films. I, I hardly mm. went to class. Like I was, yeah. yeah. So it was ironic that I started my filmmaking career. Whilst I was working at a bank where I then created like Indani and Kitty Up, which yeah. thankfully it all worked out. Yeah. Me. And now wow. she's my biggest uh, supporter, thank God. <laughs> she gave me a whole house to borrow money on the bank. So yeah. She tried, she tried. One of my favorite groups of people like in life is Lagos Island Big Women. Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh yes. See. Oh yes. My grandma has one friend. Oh, there's mommy. no there's no but look, I just feel like those are the real bad bitches. Yes, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Because you just you look at them, oh, they have a shop. You don't realize how rich what they, they are. Controlling number one, <laughs> number two, <laughs> any man that we do about share, anyhow, you see, you surely because ah, man, I can't ask you, you just see that they have a new husband. I say, ah, what's <laughs> 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 this or that? This or that? Come and see, she left. You know, and they're just as in they're balling. They're selling mm-hmm. jewelry. Yep. They're selling mm-hmm. that kind of yep. yep. but. See, big women. I feel like before we started talking about feminism, there were like some bad... See, bad bitches. The Yoruba, bad bitches. They, they I know someone's like, grandma married, but you have to be 13 men. Like, <laughs> I know. I know my so grandma says she time. sells gold, so she's like a proper, a yeah. bad bitch. All I see like this, I'm just like... What it would be to be inside your life. <laughs> yeah, there's a woman that sells fabric. I forget the name of the store. And that's what my mom sends me sometimes to look for fabric. If she's going for a wedding and she doesn't want to wear the extra yeah. she says she can't check. She, the woman that has stopped doing the business fully, her own job now is to attend the events, right? Her son has taken over the, the business. business. He's the one that does this with a crisp English accent. But if this boy enters Yoruba, it is insane. <laughs> so I had to ask him. I was like, how far? He was like, oh yeah, he was in, he went to uni. His mom sent him and his siblings to uni with the business. And then one day, you know, he was hustling. I think he had a job in finance in England or something. He's complaining to his mom said, okay, he should come home for December. And she showed him her books. He said, this I'm yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna die. This yeah. Where I'm, I'm so passionate about that. Right. If you go there on any given day, you'll see him there. Mommy, oh, like it. Because I, ha- I had to ask him. Because I was like, this is not like a sexy job for a 20-something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He said, the day is mom. She just gave him a glimpse. Of what she's moving weekly. He said, no, no, no. I will. <laughs> I can do. He goes to China. He, he's yeah, he's yeah, down. He goes to China. Yeah. He goes to Korea. He goes to... He goes everywhere. He said, this business... He told her, no, no, no. You go for your parties. <laughs> I'm in charge. He has changed the accounting system, mm-hmm. everything. Fantastic. Fabulous. I'm sure she's so happy. But what is What is this? What story? is this? Just give yeah. us the blurb. If you can give us and then give us from your own you, character's you point of view because it kind of centers okay. around... Um, for gangs, it's really... It's a, it's a story of um, friendship, love, family, and goals. Those life are all dreams. the plenty things. Yeah, those are the few, like, those <laughs> are the life. things, like, core to the characters in the movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then it's just really an Isaleko story. Three young friends grew up in Isaleko, trying to make it out of Isaleko. The challenges they face, the life they live, and eventually the outcome of their destinies as a result of their actions. Mm. That's the, that's in English, Lorokon. That's mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and he kind of, get, like, that's it, essentially. Like I said earlier, the idea of what is, I mean, we play around with destiny a lot. Like, are we destined to live the life that, the life that we've been thrown into? Because mm-hmm. a lot of us, like, I think going to Saleko and seeing that that day, I was just thinking, what if I was born here, right? What if yeah. this was my life? What if, would I have been able to get out? What, what would that have looked like? And so that's what inspired that. And so we start off with these three friends, like he says, they've been friends since they were kids. And um, 
when we meet them, actually, they're robbing a car. So, yeah. Because they're street kids. Mama, I already said the female. No, 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 no. no, 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 no you're all the ginger people. No, I the ginger people. people. They're, robbing, they're robbing a car. Like you said, you know, they're going to be found out because yeah. it's Saleko. Everybody knows what's going on in Saleko. Um, and so they are down a path already. If you are robbing yeah, a car, you already, nine, you're already, you're already gotten some. You're already down a path in mm-hmm. life. And so they meet this other character, also a gangster who wants to leave the life. He wants to leave. He doesn't want to be a gangster anymore. And he just falls in love with Obalola, which is to his character as a child. And he says, you know what, I'll take you, I'll adopt you and you will go to school and all of this. But then their life change essentially and the everything's cut us and they're, yeah. they're stuck in this life and they're trying to leave but they, they can't leave yeah. by the way that's another Jadis project everything's cut oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I, this thing you said about like destiny do you guys believe like you have your because like, that's a very Yoruba thing so mm-hmm. my it's going to be a slightly long winded story my grandfather my great grandfather believed very strongly like in destiny. destiny he was a traditional worshipper so your life is set out for you and he told my grandmother she was destined to have just one child. And that's what my she mother. Did. Yes, she refused, and she tried it, and it didn't work. She she could not believe yeah, that, that this was be supposed the case. to be her. And he wow. used to say that your destiny is written in very many ways. There mm-hmm. are some unchangeable things mm-hmm. that you know something like the number of children that come out of your body is written. That one, there's nothing you can do to change it. But I, I was slightly, I'm, um, you know, modern woman, science, everything. I mean, do you know the thing? I do think that your destiny is written anyway. I just feel like there's, there's some places you can edit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. I think that you have some there are choices yeah. ahead. There's mm-hmm. some, you, you get, and... there's some creative liberty here mm-hmm. and there yeah. where you make certain choices that will scatter. It exactly. accelerates. Exactly. Exactly. That will yeah. scatter exactly. what was yeah. written so, for you. For me, that is like, I'm very big on like education. I think there are things you might not be able to change, but let the education give you the choice. Yeah. Right? It's like, I think whether you are destined, there's different types, there's different levels to poverty. There are different levels to, do you understand? The, the kind of things you can fall into when you don't have options. Mm-hmm. I think the mm-hmm. thing that gives you the mm-hmm. easiest mm-hmm. playing field mm-hmm. is at least finish secondary school. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Have options and like what you can use your mind to do. So, I mean, for me, I, first of all, the idea, like you said, Kadara, mm-hmm. which is destiny, yeah. is a very like, um, it's central to Yoruba culture. Is, like uh-huh. you, you can't remove that. And then spirit, we play with spirit, spirituality a lot in the film. So, mm. so Abelola's mom is a Sele woman. Yeah, and his them. father was a traditionalist. Ah. And so his father like marked his body and all of that for yeah. protection because of this this premonition you see in the trailer. There was already a premonition that he would die young <clears throat> when his character was young. And so his mom is fighting everything with all yeah. her prayers to like stop this mm-hmm, you know, premonition mm-hmm. from coming through. And so, yes, we do believe in that. And like you said, I do believe choices, um, you can make choices to sort of mm-hmm. stop that. But I think that if you look at a bigger picture, first of all, the fact that we, we don't choose where we're born. Yeah. Already, mm-hmm. that's the kind of mm-hmm. that's already, right? yeah. you, can, you don't have a choice in that regard. Number two is even education. I feel like when you're in a country like Nigeria or India or whatever, education is beyond even formal education. Mm-hmm, yeah. Sometimes it's education of just like... Way around your environment. Yes, yeah, way around your... You get, like, if, for instance, the a character gets, meets this woman who sells uh, fabrics, like, and, and owns a business, learning her business is education. Yeah. For instance. Yeah. It's not school education, but it's And also it opens you up to a completely exactly. different group of people than if... Yeah, you know, working and somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. that thing you said is why I think Nigerians also believed in destiny helper. Because <laughs> there really can be that one person that There's can enter your love life more than destiny no, and helper. transforms your entire life. No, legit. It's no. some it's not it doesn't take and it doesn't take like a big thing. It's it's, it's sometimes like, it's very small. The things. older you get, the more you realize like sometimes like me now I'm your destiny. Will shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you meet people who say things like, um, it doesn't matter what um what what you know is who you know. And sometimes, initially, I didn't understand what they meant until I started getting older and you would go to places where somebody would say, oh, Jola does this. And somebody, you don't know. Yeah. But because Jade said, I do this thing, this person is going to take this big risk. Um, I just yeah. said, I'm trying to do this. They say that's value. Take, and, <laughs> that's... take this thing and run and, you know, run with this. And this. There is no world in which if I was just working hard. You get there. In my own Honestly. silo. I would, it doesn't matter the it how much happens. You know yeah. I, I, I beg to differ that okay. would be done. You know what I, what I was going to say is in this life, just be of value. You can never, that's the thing about destiny. How I feel or what I feel about destiny is just continue to work hard and continue to be of value. 
the destiny of helper will come. The situation that will blow you up if you're too destined to blow up. Hundred percent. So I feel, I feel like if you were in that corner of you still doing your work, trust me, you can do the work to a point where the work starts to speak for itself. And then somebody that is meant to blow you or whoever you think this person introduced you to. Um, yeah, I see you, you, but do you know the thing? I actually believe less and less in that, especially in this current world <laughs> that we are in. We live in a world where perception matters more than than actual. No, so as, so no. Actually, I w- I wouldn't say that. Where perception starts, like a lot of people's journeys, and then mm. reality now cements or breaks. Mm. So there's no yeah. amount of perception that can yeah. fake you not having it. <laughs> Do you? No, like okay. if you don't have it, you don't have it. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter if you. But there's so much about getting in the room, somebody calling your name, you know, knowing somebody that. The hard work that I do is when I get there that I'm now my hard work mm-hmm. will now show for itself. Mm-hmm. But let me not lie to you. I would personally say, at least in my own life, eight times out of ten, what got me into that room has nothing to do with hard work. Uh, I would, it has so I, much so more is, to do. My, with I think mine is different. I, I'm from maybe. a different yeah. uh, school. Like my when I look at my, you know, all of this is background. Yeah, into yeah. How my father lived his life. Like a lot of what has happened to me so far. Like Jaddy, for instance, um, putting me in our first movie. Like, how did my name come up? It was all I was doing on social media. I wanted to know the other. Okay, I laid an impression somewhere. And then, okay, let's invite Toby. So there was already work on the, like, Gangs of Lagos. But they, it's not acting work. No, That's what I'm saying. Not, it wasn't, it wasn't acting, acting work. work. And Jade still had to No, but a lot, of, a lot of some things I did, like content creating, all of that. Yeah. And then the vibe and general energy. And then when you put it vis-a-vis the character. I think maybe for you, but see this other uh, girl you said that this phone care, this is her name. There's mm. no, there's no. Okay, I see a picture. What and, she, yeah, what, 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 you know what I mean? Our prayer, our mother's prayers. I'm not <laughs> grace. No, but that, that's what I'm saying. Like, so in our own case now, okay, she's doing her content. She's modeling. She's putting out her pictures. She's doing something. Nobody mentioned her name to Jaddy. That you get, exactly. So, you, you get, so you, that has nothing to, so do you know what is, what's, some people will be thinking. So actors and actresses will be thinking, why didn't Jaja see my own? Do you get picture? so I'm an actress? Think about it now. I'm she, beautiful. She had it. She I'm had this skin. gang. She had this gang of Lagos and she said Toby's gonna do it. But is it, what what I'm saying is is very possible. It, it, there's, there's possibility Jaddy could have seen somebody else's work within that same yeah. frame of time and be like, oh, that girl is who I'm So what I'm saying is it's it's not it's not like like that. That. So so the great. reason I, I I agree I feel like there's a middle ground in all of mm-hmm. this. Yeah, right? for sure. It's not always just one way. So I, you know what she was talking about? We live in a world of perception. All of this. Earlier in my career, in fact, when I did uh, Dangs, all these things, yeah. I was producing Skinny Girl. I then saw when Netflix or like other What's companies, came, the first people they were going to. They were referencing my work to them, but it wasn't. Hey. But it wasn't me. Yeah. No. Okay. My entire head blew because yeah. I was just like, okay, I I grew up in a system where I was going to school. All they needed to do was read my book and get my A's, mm-hmm. and I didn't need to Very show anybody formulaic. anything. You need to do. You know what I mean? Like, so I thought that was it. Like, do the work. Like, and at the time, nothing stopped me because I saw a lot of people who weren't doing what I was doing at Indani and they were projecting their whole destiny on the internet. Like, That's they were it, getting no. thousands and thousands of followers. But I was like, nah, my work will speak for me. In fact, MTV was going to do, sorry, I should stop mentioning it. A global platform was going to do a show and they hired an international director and brought him to Nigeria and he was looking for my crew and told them, giddy up, this is what we're trying to make wow. in Nigeria. And my head almost blew. That, again, why, why didn't, this why didn't call they call me? Me? Why are they like, the what is going on? And so for, this is why I said that I can understand the envy because for a long time, it felt like I was doing this work. Not only was I doing it, but in rooms, I was hearing ad agencies. And the work companies. is actually speaking. No. It's speaking. But it's not, but the agency was was not bringing coming. So you know. it wasn't that I was envious of anybody, but I was frustrated for a long time because I felt like, so what does it take? And a lot of people said what it took was be a fine girl on social media, be posting speak, fine pictures, speak your truth. be yeah. doing video, be telling them that this is how you're great, be working. But I knew that wasn't me. So all I did, and I told someone recently that actually... It might just be a longer path, mm, right? Yeah. Consistently doing this work. And like you said, these gangs, we did not know where we're going to take. We spent all this money. We had this big dream for this show. Mm-hmm. We didn't know what was going to happen. Sorry, I wasn't sure what we were looking for. No, okay. Okay. <laughs> we weren't sure what was going to happen with the film. And we were just, whether it's Chat Destiny, God, yeah. or that. Amazon happens to be coming to Nigeria at the same time. They're looking for a film to launch first and they acquire the film, right? And... It looks, I'm sure a lot of people, because a lot of people ask me, ah, so how did you know? Who did you know that I didn't know anybody at that This has happened so many times. So many, so many, t- like so many times. And I think also particularly when you, so this is the thing with having a platform. 
So because you've done work multiple times, people assume that everything is going to come to you like this. Everything and comes to you one easily. Call, and then like, you'll just... So I people would even assume that you know people yeah. in Amazon because you've been doing all this all, all this, this work. work. Yeah. They called me too. After the game. Do you know how many people will call me like, hey, to me, so Show me the way. Like, how do I get to... I don't... Not only did Amazon then acquire, they then sent me to a three-year deal. This... In my, in my... Your you know permutation. What? <laughs> you didn't plan it. You, see, you, you could never have planned it. And the funny thing is, because during that time when I was waiting when nothing was happening, I remember Whiskey got this... Season I can't remember. Not, season and This season, yeah. I think I was talking about. Whiskey was blowing up, like, internationally. Yeah. yeah, so you... you Whiskey blew up internationally, and I remember seeing how that was happening I was just like I remember being at Biscuit's first concert mm. in Nigeria really <laughs> and I remember his journey and how like he felt like a different person do you know yeah. what I mean mm. but then Burner Boys blew up like felt so random he has a song titled Ye and the whole world is looking for uh, okay. Kanye West album. and they stumble on uh, Burner Boys song and of course like you said he did the work because the song yeah. was great and yeah. so the whole world is streaming his song and all of a sudden this boy who has been toiling since forever in Nigeria all of a sudden has this massive yeah. work. of course he has the body of work to also back it up mm-hmm. it's not as though he doesn't right so the opportunity is meeting the prepared work yeah. but he could never I don't think even he like he would have dreamed it but I don't know that he could ever have foreseen just how like his career would change some things yes it's your hard work it's your but sometimes it doesn't have much to do with anything. It yeah. it just, and you pray that when it. you get those opportunities you don't necessarily deserve that you're ready. Yes, you're going to that's deliver it. like yeah, a hundred. That's where your work like now, you just, now comes yeah, up. Because if you get the opportunity and then you don't ha- you've not done any work, nothing can speak for you. Yeah. It will cast. Mm-hmm. There's always it's like a stay ready so you don't have to get ready things. So there's a friend of mine who had a fantastic opportunity last year. Um, she's a makeup artist and she did someone's makeup and the person loved, loved it. Right. Next thing from London, I want her to do my makeup. She doesn't have visa till today. She has done her um, British visa. She has done her American visa. She said that's when she learns the meaning of stay ready, so you don't have to get ready. Mm. Stay ready, so you don't have to get ready. Let don't let it don't don't be caught don't be mm-hmm. caught mm-hmm. so unprepared mm-hmm. that they have to go for your second yeah. option. Who is not as good as you, but is prepared because for you, any, yeah. any given opportunity. You know the thing you just said is what I say about the film industry as well because people talk a lot about why in the past. Um, for a long time it seemed like only certain people were getting some opportunities mm-hmm. Especially, I was like I suspect after a while I realized it might just be that they had positioned themselves 100% for those opportunities and they, they, even though I, I I turned my nose up at the making noise on social media mm-hmm. but at, at the end of the day if you're new and you're going to the market it might just be the noise makers you take first like the people who are and by noise makers I mean the most visible in the industry yeah. because you think okay they're visible they've done the work I need low hanging fruits they're the first that you'll pick it's a lazier path but I can understand why these companies are doing that. So, but they're also yeah. ready, ready in very in other ways, right? Like you're not going to catch, you're not going to find some people, ask some people about their tax returns, and they're going to start scrambling. They are ready in all precisely, the ways they need to be precisely. ready. They are before you tell them they've already paid their American SAG dues. Yeah. Precisely. They're ready precisely. for everything they need to register for. So precisely. if you like, come and say, but they're not actually the best. They're not the most creative. You know, they're, they're, they're structured they for ready. those opportunities. <laughs> and you're not. Ready. You're not. Grace, if they're giving you money today, you can lose everything I'm because you don't even know where you're going. Yeah. Like, I know very, my, my favorite, like when people blow, my favorite is just when Grace just carries them. I, like, I love everybody trying to figure out why they're there or how they got there so it doesn't look this is the best it doesn't matter yeah. oh, do you know, do you know like you were saying you like walking? Tames how do you plan ah, that career how do babe. you how do you and the thing is she oh. still Tames is about to release her first proper album Jesus. and like look at look just, at it just imagine being a musician I'm telling you <laughs> you don't want to be depressed yeah, yeah, no, look, look, you're bro, gonna be other what people this? walk out to the Oscars we didn't hear about <laughs> them no no Grace. again stay ready so you don't have see, to see that's just it she's done EPs yes she's done she's done EPs she's had songs Ready. that have gone you know where her features have gone but she's, she's ready and th- there's work oh. her team is working everything but no how can they plan this thing no, you can't. they can't plan it's it no, it's a dream that people will say oh, maybe after your second album your third album you know it's so funny when and I don't know if we can say this but when Arista sort of her career launched I remember a lot of comparisons to Tames at mm-hmm. the time and it felt like Arira was more like ready for the Niger celeb kind yeah. of life like the more movies, you know in your face Tewa Savage career path and I remember people talking about how you forget about Thames because Thames didn't seem like she cared as much yeah. for the Niger celeb kind of lifestyle. 
it's so funny how her past is like it's different. It's just astronomically different. It's different. Like it's crazy. It's different. She just another career path that nobody could have See, ever thought it's about. Crazy. Like, and it happened. I mean, it, so, us that were talking this grace because the other day I actually, you know, my 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 brother actually said to me that. So what you're telling me is that you now that I live with you here, <laughs> people are going to pay to hear the two of you talk in London. <laughs> <laughs> and he just said, let's just look at that. Let's, let's he was like, let's, let's, look, yeah, he was like <laughs> let's look at that situation now if it makes sense. Because <laughs> he was like, I don't get why anybody was first of all hear you talk. <laughs> no, but when he said it, I was just like, do you know what? That's Fair actually enough. insane. Yeah. That's actually insane that like, we're going to go sit down in an auditorium just two of us like this, gist in, and there are people that are going to be there Watching. watching us that's crazy when will I have planned that <laughs> and is there anything else you want to tell people no um, I just want the whole world to say thank you to Jaddy on my behalf and my father. I, thank I you never so stop much, saying thank you Jaddy. Um, thank you like, Shema like when I one of the As EPs you? on the project had <laughs> called me and was like Toby when Jaddy said it was you that was going to play lead I told her I'm not sure I want to put my money but like you proved me wrong and, you know, and that was so comforting Aww, and thanks Jaddy is beyond myself beyond some other characters Jaddy will always take chances on people Yeah. so I just want to thank you for that spirit and you're actually a genius thank you for oh, giving us the chance you. we do appreciate you and we pray that the greater things will definitely come you don't need that as I'm like all these social media you should do don't stress yourself your own will come oh you. I love <laughs> this yeah. how cute anyway thank, thank you Very. so much yes and um, yeah that's that that's that two fingers in the air <laughs> <laughs> bye. bye guys bye